Deterrence is the capability of a state to inflict sufficient heavy losses on a potential adversary to deter it from attempting an attack. It is a key element of national defense for guaranteeing the protection of one territory. This is where the submarine launched missiles, be it ballistic or cruise missile, plays a crucial role. What differentiates a cruise missile from other weapons is their range and low flight altitude enabling them to reach targets deep inside the enemy's territory. DRDO has also started working on submarine launched cruise missile or SLCM. We got the first information about this development in May 2022 when an RFP was released by DRDO's lab ARDE for the fabrication and supply of safety arming mechanism or SAM for the SLCM. The main function of SAM is to incorporate various safeties and to detonate the warhead when required. The safety army mechanism is a vital link between missile and warhead which plays a vital role in keeping missile in safe condition during handling, transportation, storage and launch phase. These safety interlocks incorporated in SAM are removed at different stages of the flight of the missile and detonates the warhead at the time of interception of the target. The DRDO's SLCM is going to be an indigenously developed missile. It will be developed in two versions which are Land Attack Cruise Missile or LACM and Anti-Ship Cruise Missile or ASCM. The details of this missile was recently released by ANI. The, the SLCM will feature technologies like thrust vector control to turn the missile into and onto the target plane, in-flight wing deployment and in-flight engine start. Now these technologies has also been proven by DIDO. It is being developed to have a range of 500 kilometers. The length of the missile will be 5.6 meter and diameter of 505 mm. Now if you compare this missile with nearby crew missile, it is slightly shorter as well as less in diameter. The missile will have all up weight of 975 kilogram, which is almost two third of the weight of nearby crew missile. It will have speed of 0.7 Mach and will carry 250 kilograms of PCB and air burst warhead. For navigation, the missile will use INS GPS in mid course and RF seeker at the terminal stage. It will be a two stage missile like nearby with first phase powered by solid rocket booster and second phase powered by a turbofan sustainer. The successful test of ITCM missile with indigenous turbofan engine Manik will further boost the development process of SLCM. The missile will carry 165 kg of jet A1 fuel. DRDO has successfully conducted the median trial of the missile with a range of 402 km in February 2023 and more trials of these missiles are lined up. Talking about submarine launch crew missile, it is planned to be one of the critical weapons of indigenously manufactured submarines planned to be built by Indian Navy under Project 75I. Indian Industries that is Larson and Tubro, Godrej and Samir. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.